Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to structural geometry. In this video, we are going to be focusing on assigning section properties to steel members using the standard sections database. We will now turn our attention to our sample model, which has already been started in STAD Pro Connect Edition. As you can see, all the nodes and members in our model have already been created. And we're at the next step in our workflow, which is to assign properties to our structural members. In the workflow page control area at the top of the screen, you're now going to select your properties page. And you're going to notice that the properties dialog is now available in the data area in the lower right hand corner. In addition to that, we're also going to select the specification tab in the ribbon toolbar. Now the first thing we're going to do is assign section properties using the standard sections database. So we're going to go up to the ribbon, we're going to select the database icon, and then we're going to select the appropriate database. Now STAD Pro does come with several databases for you to assign section properties from. This includes a steel database, which will provide you access to a list of the standard steel tables for more than 15 countries. We also have a cold formed steel database and an aluminum database. We're going to go to the hot rolled steel sections table and select the American database. Now within this database, the different sections are organized by type of shape. So you're going to want to select all of the shapes that you anticipate using in your particular model. So I'm going to start with the W shape group for this particular model, and then I'm going to select whatever sections I want. I'm going to come down here and select a W14 by 30 section. I'm going to select my material as steel, and then I'm going to select any type of specification options that I want. I'm going to, for this exercise, select a ST, which is a single section from table. You also have an option to select a double profile or top plates or bottom plates as well. Once you select your section, you're going to click the add button and you're going to notice that this section is now going to be added to the properties window. Now I'm going to stay in the American steel table dialog until I grab all of the sections that I anticipate using. So within the W section group, I'm also going to find a W18 by 35. And then I'm going to select some other types of sections. So I'm going to select an HSS rectangular section. I'm going to select an HSS T ten by ten by zero point three seven five. Again, I'm making sure steel is selected for each of these. And then finally, I'm going to finish this off by selecting an angle section. So I'm going to select an angle four zero three five six. So I'm going to select the section. Again, I'm just going to use a single section from the table and select the steel material. Now you've probably noticed that a couple of our sections don't use the standard AISC section names. To understand the nomenclature for the angles, we're going to see the angle symbol L at the start of the name. The first two numbers represents the one leg of the angle, and these are in terms of tenths of an inch. So four zero would represent four and zero tenths or four inches. Three five would represent the second leg of the angle. So three and five tenths or three and a half. And then the last number six would represent the thickness of the angle in sixteenths of an inch. So this is an L four by three and a half by three eighths. So we'll go ahead and click the add button and then we are going to click close. So I've gone ahead and added all the sections from the standard database that I'm going to be using in this model. Now these haven't been assigned to any section in my model yet. That needs to happen at this point. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select my first section that I want to assign and then I'm going to assign it to the certain sections. Now, if I take a look at my properties dialog, I have several different assignment methods I can utilize. I can use my cursor to assign, which basically means I'm just going to go around and click 
all the members that I want to assign it to. This is more of an active modeling mode type of feature. I can assign it to view, which is basically going to assign it to every member in the model. I can assign it to an edit list, which basically means I would type in the member numbers that this section is going to be assigned to, or I can make a selection and assign it that way. And that's what we're going to do in this exercise. So I'm going to select my section I want to assign, and then I'm going to select the members I want to assign it to. Now for this particular model, I went ahead and set up some groups to make the assignment a little bit easier. So I'm going to assign this to my steel beams in the model. So now up in the ribbon toolbar, I'm going to click on the select tab, and then I'm going to select by group. Once in this area, I can select the group that this is going to be applicable to, and I'm going to assign it to my steel beams. You're going to notice once you make a selection, your assignment to selected beams option is going to become available. And then we're going to finish this off by clicking on the assign button. It's going to ask me if I would like to confirm this operation. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And then I can go around and assign whichever other sections I want, and I'm going to use the same assignment process each time. So we're going to go ahead and assign, assign the 18 by 35. I'm going to start by selecting it, and this time I'm going to assign this to my steel girders. So I'm going to come over here and select my steel girders. I don't want to assign it to my steel beams, so at the same time I'm going to unselect those. Let's go ahead and finish this off with the next section. We're going to highlight our HSS 10 by 10 by 3 8 I'm going to assign this to my steel columns. And finally, my angles. We'll go ahead and assign this to our horizontal braces. If you're done with the Select Groups dialog, you can go ahead and close it. Now as we take a look over in our Properties dialog, we're going to notice that this Highlight Assigned Geometry button is currently selected. And with this option selected, as you click on each section, the program will go ahead and highlight those sections that were assigned that property. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.